guys, happy Sunday. So I'm starting this uh, little series on my YouTube called Sundays at Jackie's, which is basically just highlighting the Italian American culture and how important Sundays are. So we're kicking off this first episode. I wanted to do this with family, with um, my uncle Lorenzo, who is my dad's brother. Um, my dad was one of 10 siblings from Napoli, Italy. So we're going to pick up my uncle Lorenzo at work. Um, I bugged him to do this video with me. I hope he has fun. And uh, yeah, it should be a cute little thing. So so stay tuned for more. This is Uncle Renzo. Surprise. <laughs> so you guys are taking me out for coffee. That's very nice. Yes, we're taking you out for coffee, yeah, a couple like cannolis. That. Sounds good. Give me away from this place. I'll go anywhere. <laughs> Show them the sign where Uncle Renzo works. Yeah. Nice auto body. They'll fix your car beautifully. All right, so you want to, we'll kidnap you in our car. You uh, want to do that? Try an espresso. I have to have an espresso, that's for sure. 100%. <laughs> then we'll check out what kind of delicacy will fit in this. I think that's a good that's a good plan. Oh. We're drinking lots of coffee yeah, today. Oh. We're eating lots of pastries. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna take a bite of the famous lobster tail. Ooh, oh, <laughs> it's delicious. Is it good? Real. I wanna try a little bit. I'm a pre diabetic. <laughs> a pre diabetic. Pre diabetic, okay? So, before, gotta watch my sugar intake. Before we left, my mom was like, don't give Uncle Lorenzo a lot of sweets. He's a pre diabetic. And look what I did. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I know. It's all out of love, you know? Everyone's gotta have some sugar. That's a lot of love. <laughs> He's good too. I like it. Yeah, good espresso. We got him a new spot. You made friends here too. Yeah, from my hometown. That's awesome. Uh, for so sure. You want to hear that story now? Yeah, I want right, to hear the story. Uh, you know, something that happened uh, with me and uh, Jack when we were younger. Uh, he used to go to these CYO dances every Friday night. And he was about 16 years old and uh, I was about 12. Every Friday night, about 10 o'clock, we'd get a phone call for the local police station to go pick him up. So they were nice back then. And well, you know, they were more lenient to call the parents and say, come pick up your son. So when I would take my mother there, now my mother and father didn't speak any English. They didn't drive or anything like that. We had to walk from our house all the way to the police station to go pick him up. So when we get there, sure enough, they show this is your son, yes, you know. And I had to tell the police officer that my mother don't speak any English. So he goes, well, I want you to translate, he told me, to your mother exactly what happened, this way she knows what, what her son did. So he, he would proceed to go like and say, uh, your son started a fight, he got all kinds of habit going in there, made all kinds of things go wrong. And then my brother would look at me with certain eyes, like, don't you dare say that. <laughs> 
So I would look at my mother and say, Jack was in the wrong place. He was trying to help a friend. <laughs> and I know he was going to get smacked anyway, which he did. And I look at the police officer saying, you really think I was going to tell my mother that? <laughs> then I kept that part to myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was crazy, crazy. That, that is happened so a lot, funny. Yeah. Happened in school, happened over there. So that's one of the things I remember about, you know. That's the plus of having your parents not oh speak my English. God, yeah, it's good and bad, let me tell you. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it was, that's yeah, awesome. Later on, I learned that it wasn't the right thing to do, but I didn't want to get a beating from yeah. your father, so, you know, because he was older, <laughs> stronger. And you helped out your brother. And I helped out my brother. Yeah. It's not supposed to do it. Yes. That's it. So yes. it worked out pretty good for everybody. Yes. Except the police officer. Except the police officer. He, and also, actually, for dad, because he'd probably go back the next week and start another problem. He did. <laughs> That happened for two months straight. Really? It's like eight Fridays. Though. I mean, oh it was almost like every gosh. Friday. I would know I'm going to get that call around 10, 10.30 to go pick him up over there. That is too and, funny. And, and, and she kept telling me, you got to stop helping your friends. <laughs> Instead, it was him causing all the trouble. That right? is too funny. He was very uh, lively. He was definitely a troublemaker. He was a troublemaker. Uh, he, uh, he liked to get out there. That's yeah, just, uh, yeah. Absolutely. It was never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. No yeah. more for you, No more probably. sugar for me. I no, know. no, no, no. Oh, look over there. Mmm. <laughs> Did it taste good? Oh, it tastes great. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> All right, we just left Mattarello's. Great pastries. What'd you think, Uncle Lorenzo? I don't know yet. <laughs> no, who's very good, actually. Uh, um, I'm helping her drive at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way to our second bakery of the day. The name is Aroma di Napoli, which means the smell of Naples, which is where Uncle Lorenzo and Dad are from. I hope it's a good smell, from. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Some of Naples didn't smell so good when I was there. Are you having a good day, Uncle Lorenzo? Oh, best ever. <laughs> Is it better than work? Well, you know what? I can see why you girls need a uh, repair shop now and then. <laughs> oh, my God. I hit a car, and I brought the car to Uncle Lorenzo, and he was like, oh, my God, what the hell did you do? So he said, I just had a little tap, <laughs> and uh, you bent the frame and everything else. Yeah, yeah that was uh, my first car accident. So we're on our way to a Roman in Dinopoli, and we're very excited. So stay tuned for the rest. Dinopoli. They have a lot of uh, stuff from my hometown. The food here is excellent. If you come here to eat, you'll love it. They got you'll a restaurant it. and it's a like little bakery. Look at this cake. It's got the Nutella right in the... That is so cute! Alright, what should I get? Should we get some macaroons? Should we get some sprinkle cookies? Alright, we stopped in for a little lunch. I haven't tried my food yet, but... Uh, we didn't say Grace. She's not here. Oh, God. I got chicken cutlet with a little mutt, some, uh, some basil, some oil, and balsamic. And then a side of pasta with some sauce on the side. So let's see how this tastes. I got this. Delicious. Very good. My dad used to say you go like this, and then the food's good. Water. 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 Don't do it up here though. That means poopy, right? Yeah. <laughs> good. Bad. <laughs> Very good. But sometimes crazy is good. No. <laughs> what if it's like a good crazy? Like. I don't know, what would be a good crazy? Giving all your money to the poor. That's crazy. <laughs> but good. But good. We got a couple of cannolis and espresso. We just finished up lunch and now we're we're back on dessert. Don't tell Aunt Teresa we're giving him more sugar. That's got sugar. Oh no, no, that's uh, no, no. It's good for you. How much coffee did we drink today? Not enough. I know, I kind of feel the same way. Should we cheers to the series or to dad? To both. To both. In honor of that In honor of series. Dad. Cheers. Cheers, Dad. Uh, very good. Every Sunday we'd have a big feast. Of the I know he has, yeah. yeah. Seven, ten course dinner. That was, that was, oh my gosh, the food. I was little, but I remember the food. She made all that good stuff. Yeah. And literally they ask you how you want the food. They ask you if you want it straight. Yeah. 
spit to me is very, very tight. Yeah. Small. That's like the caffeine in there. Yeah. I think your eyes come out. <laughs> so every time I go there, I get for longer. Yeah. And you stretch it out, give me a little okay. more water in there. Feel like one shot. Done. done. Run out the door. Oh my gosh. Don't even need a car anymore. You really? can get home in no time. <laughs> What's your favorite Italian dessert? If you had to pick one that you can only have for the rest of your life. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. I like um, this is more like a restaurant thing, but I love the tartufo. And I know it's so silly because it's literally just chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream, but there's something about the way it's made, chocolate. the chocolate shell. Is there anything you want to say before? I had a great time. With my Lorenzo. niece is here. Aww. And I wish we'd do it more often. The food here was excellent. Absolutely. I would recommend this. Anybody. This is Uncle Lorenzo's recommendation. He wanted to come here today and it was the food is great. Pastry is great. Please come and try. <laughs> Tell Pasquale Lorenzo sent you. Aww. And he'll give you a free, a free pastry. <laughs> if he doesn't give it to you, you, you write me and I'll pay for the pastry. <laughs> Wait a minute, take that off. Yeah, you heard that. <laughs> We're dropping Uncle Lorenzo back off at work. Thanks for having the day with us. Uh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> I'm all wired up now. I'm gonna get the rest of these cars out in five minutes. So we'll we'll bring again. we'll bring the car back totaled for you. Oh no, 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 no,